Welcome to March's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is wiggle subsequence. Given an integer array, return the length of the longest wiggle sequence. A wiggle sequence is a sequence where the differences between successive numbers al alternate between positive and negative. In other words, the difference from the previous array is going to be uh, first positive and then negative. Now, a subsequence is obtained by deleting some elements from the original sequence, leaving the remaining elements in the original order. So we could skip numbers if we'd like, and we want to try to solve this in O of n time. Now, generally, I, li I like to solve these problems from the brute force method all the way up, but if I'm being frank, I found the brute force method even more confusing. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight to the greedy approach um, and see if we can figure that out, uh, you know, going with that. So the first thing we want to do is let's figure out how do we calculate like this array of differences. And to do that, it's pretty trivial. We just need to uh, go through the entire array from the second element, check the previous, and get the difference, and just add that to an array, right? So what I'll do is create a DP array, and this is going to be 4i in range of 1 to the length of nums. What we'll do is get the length of nums from the previous one, and subtract that with the current one, and we'll put that into this array here. So first thing I want to do is let's make sure this looks OK. And it looks right. So once we have this, it kind of just becomes a matter of iterating down this DP array to calculate what's the longest number of like flipping, right? So and we can easily do that by saying uh, start check the previous element and say if this is negative and this is positive, then increase our counter. Or if this is negative and this is positive, increase our counter. Otherwise, just continue. Um, and that would be it. But there's a problem here. And the problem is we have some weird situations where uh, we could have differences that are the same uh, but require different ans answers. So here with like this 1, 1, 1, the answer should be 1. Here with this answer, with 2, this should be 2. So what's, what's going on here? Um, because with our algorithm, we would just, you know, never increase our counter for both both of them. Uh, and if we started with a total of two, this would be wrong, right? Um, so the issue here is these zeros. Like, if, if the difference is not zero, uh, then we could at least increase our counter, or not increase our counter, but we know we at the very least the length of this thing is going to be two. Because you can imagine, like, one, two, three, four. Uh, well, this it technically counts, right, as a wiggle sequence. But here, this would not, uh, because there's no difference going on. So it's these zeros that we—that's kind of a problem. So uh, ultimately, like one way we can think about it is, well, we should pop off these repeats, like in order. Rather than doing that, why don't we just get rid of these zeros? Let's just get rid of them. We'll say, look, if this is zero, just don't even add it to this DPRA. Okay, so if it doesn't equal zero, then add it to the DP array, okay? So we'll do that, and what that's going to allow us to do is say, oh, okay, look, if this DP is empty, then we should just return to one immediately. Otherwise, we can start with two and then just count up and see what our longest thing is. So let's go with that. We'll say, look, if not DP, then immediately return to one. Otherwise, we'll start with a two, and then we'll just iterate down our DP for i in range of one to the length of DP. We'll do the same. Um, now we'll do our check here. We'll say, look, if dp i minus 1 is, let's say, positive and current dp is negative, or the other way around, we flip it. Then we can increase our, our current, say, this one. Otherwise, we just continue, and then at the very end, we'll return our current. So this should give us our answer. And it looks like that does. Let's go ahead and submit it. 
And there you go, accepted. So this is O of n. We do use O of n space because of the steep PRA. Now you could write this algorithm so that we, we can avoid that by storing like the previous and the current. Uh, but I just didn't really want to do that because I, I didn't think it was very intuitive. It just messes up the code a lot. Uh, but the logic would be exactly the same. So um, yeah, like all those other approaches I found more confusing, like the top-down DPs and the recursive solutions. So this seems much more intuitive to me. Um, yeah, so I, I, I think it's one of those rare cases where it just makes sense to um, start off with the greedy approach. All right. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.